What's good guys, Tiger here, welcome to the channel. Today I've got 8 tips for you to improve your KD in Modern Warfare. Now, Modern Warfare has just came out and I know for a lot of you, you have been struggling with your KD. Modern Warfare is a very hard game to play in my opinion and I've been seeing a lot of people struggling with this game as well so I thought I'd help you out with a few tips give you something to keep in your mind, something to consciously think about as you play Modern Warfare and I definitely believe it's going to help you improve at the game and improve your KD. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So tip number one is think before you act. I see so many people just getting caught in the stupidest of places and they're clearly just playing this game like it is Black Ops 4. You cannot do that. In this game, you need to preemptively think about what you are going to do before you do it. You do not have the 150 health you had before that is going to allow you to take a shot or two and be able to dodge out the way. It's going to be very, very hard to do that in Modern Warfare. And these maps are not designed the same way that a lot of the other maps in Call of Duty have been made as well. They're a lot bigger, there is a lot more open space, there's a lot of verticality and tons of angles that you can be shot from. Now, personally, I like the map design in Modern Warfare. I know a lot of you don't. However, we are stuck with this game for a year, so you might as well get used to it. And I believe these maps are very tactical because you need to think about what you're doing before you go ahead and go do it. You can't just run around the corner and expect someone not to be looking down that line of sight. Now I know we do not know the maps yet, there are lots of maps in this game. There is definitely a lot to learn, but as you start to learn these maps, you'll get the hang of where you need to look, where the enemy are most probably going to be. So as you start to get that experience, Hopefully your mindset will change as well and you'll get the idea of playing a little bit more cautious. Really think about how you want to manoeuvre around the map. For example, if you want to go into the top left hand corner of the map, you cannot just draw a straight line and go straight across. You need to think about how you're going to move up the map, almost like you're playing chess, in order to get yourself in that position. And this is why I think smoke grenades are going to be really important in this game compared to others because blocking lines of sight in order to move to certain areas I think is going to be a lot more valuable than it is going to be in previous games. So that might be something you want to try out. Tip number two is you want to regularly use the peak ability in order to see around corners. So just like I said before in tip one, you need to think before you act. But if you do not know what is around that corner, you need to get intel. Intel is so important in this game. So if you do not have intel on a certain part of the map, the best thing you can do is to peek around the corner. Now you can do this by quickly mounting the wall, have a little look, see what's there, and then get back into cover. Or you can just quickly go left and right, peek around the corner, see what's there before committing to a decision. This is really going to help you improve your KD because if there is someone there, you'll then be able to make an educated decision whether you want to challenge that guy or back off and get into a better position. Tip number three is don't re-challenge line of sight you know the enemy has eyes on. So let's say you peek a corner and you think that you might have seen a sniper in the far distance who may have been looking in your direction. Now, if you're pretty certain, if I was you, I would not re-challenge that. There is no point in re-peaking that corner or even committing to going round that corner if you know that there is someone there who could be pre-aiming you and could kill you instantly. Remember, the time to kill in this game is very short. So even if they don't have a sniper and they had an assault rifle or an LMG or a marksman rifle, you could die very, very fast. So you cannot get away with making these decisions like you could in Black Ops 4. So even if you have a hunch that a certain part of the map, a certain line of sight is going to be dangerous, just completely avoid it. If you do see someone, think about whether you do want to re-challenge that. It might be better going to a different part of the map either to flank that person that you previously saw or you could then set yourself up into a better spot if you think you're going to be rushed 
or you could just completely ignore them and go off into a different direction and find new enemies. It's entirely up to you, but it's something to think about. In modern warfare, we don't always have the luxury of being able to re-peak or re-challenge someone in these maps, so keep it in mind. Okay, tip number four is don't stay in one spot. Now, some of you might be thinking, you're joking. Camping in this game is so common, everyone's just sitting still. But the thing is, if you are just staying in one spot, you're in one window, one doorway, on one head glitch, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're being successful in that spot and you've got two, three, maybe even four kills. Then the thing is, everyone's going to know where you are and what that spot is. These maps are designed where there's lots of different angles, so if you think that you've got two or three good angles covered, the chances are that the enemy have already came up with a plan by either flushing you out with stuns, flashes or nades, or they might be coming on the flank to come get you. So if you're having a really productive time in a certain spot, it might be worth repositioning into a different spot. This can be a great way to stay one step ahead of the enemy because if people are going to flank you and you're in a completely different spot where you can see your previous spot, then you'll be able to pick up those kills for those people who are trying to flank you and they're gonna get so annoyed and you'll be making that smart decision. So it doesn't matter how good you are or how good your new spot is, always think about keep moving, keep moving to different spots, keep the enemy guessing where you are because that is how you are going to stay one step ahead of the enemy rather than the other way around. Number five is use your teammates. This is a team game after all. This could be 6v6, 10v10 or 32v32. It doesn't matter what game mode you are playing, you need to use your teammates, especially if you want to improve your KD. If you want to get more kills or get less deaths, you need to use your teammates. Now there are two ways that you can do this. If you want to get more kills, use your teammates as bait. If you are pushing into an area that you may think is dangerous and you've got a teammate with you, try and bait them into going first, look at your mini-map as they go in, see if any red dots show up, see if your teammate dies, and this could allow you to get the trade and then you've got plus one kill and you haven't died. So consider using your teammates as bait. At the end of the day, they're going to get score for your assist, so it's not a nasty thing to do at all, it's just part of the game, it's playing as a team. And also, if you're in a sticky situation and you feel like you're going to die, maybe you feel unsafe, just look on the minimap, see where your teammates are, and if you run towards your teammates, nine times out of ten you're going to be in a much safer spot, unless you guys are spawn trapped. If you're with your teammates, you've got more eyes around the map, and you and your team are then going to be able to trade kills together, and this is going to keep you alive. So sometimes you may think it's a good idea to go alone, go on the flanks to get kills, but the thing is, if you're alone, you could be putting yourself into a 1v2, 1v3, maybe even to a 1v4 situation. And unless you're really good and in a really good position, you're going to die because you're outnumbered. You only have a certain amount of health and a certain amount of bullets in your magazine. So, so you're not Superman, you can't do everything. So consider using your team. I'm going to show you a clip now of a perfect example of how I used my teammates in order to stay alive. I was on Grasna Raid, I was trying to pull out the rocket launcher, I got pushed by the enemy and I just ran away to save my life and I had a teammate there who got my back and I was able to stay alive and get an assist. Now I had no right in living in that scenario, I was very very lucky to stay alive but I used my teammates and I came out on top and at the end of the day that's what you want because we are playing for ourselves. If you're watching this video you want to improve and you want to improve your stats so this is a tip definitely to consider for the future. Okay next tip is don't focus on one enemy. I do this all the time and it always gets me killed and it's very very frustrating. A lot of noobs do this as well, it is definitely a noob mistake, a bad habit of mine that does get me killed and it's when you see an enemy and then you make the decision to go chase that enemy down in order to get that kill but what you forget you're doing is by chasing that one person you are opening yourself up to so many possibilities of dying by their teammates. This is the complete reverse of the previous tip of using your teammates. You don't want to be that guy who gets baited by the enemy. 
So there are going to be certain situations where you might have found someone, you might have got them really weak and they've ran around the corner very luckily because of the time to kill in this game. But if you're a smart player, you definitely want to think about whether it is the smart decision to go chase that person down. If you have good map knowledge and intel on the enemy team, you'll be able to make that decision on whether it's a smart decision to go chase that person down and try and get that one-on-one -on -one kill or whether you think that one-on-one -on -one gunfight is going to turn into a 2v1 or 3v1 and in that case, you might want to back off and make another decision. So it's something definitely to think about. You do not want to get baited because it just makes you look a right mug. And if anything, it's just funny when you just try and chase a kill. You're trying so hard to get one kill and then you just end up dying. So it's best to cut out those mistakes and save your KD. Okay, two more tips now, guys. Tip number seven is you need to stay cool, guys. You need to stay cool, calm and collected in your games. Also, you need to go into every single game with an open mind because you have no idea what kind of game you're going to have. In Modern Warfare, when you play quick play, you get put into a different lobby every single time. You are not going up against the same people every single game or even one or two of the same people. So every game is different. So you might be absolutely dominant in one game and then get absolutely trashed in the other. So when you play these games in Modern Warfare, you need to keep an open mind, you need to stay relaxed and you need to suss out the game. You need to get an idea of how this game is being played. Is it a low tier game full of really bad players where you can just completely destroy? Or is this going to be a hard game with lots of good players, players who are high levels and know the maps and have good gun skill? And you're going to have to play a little bit smarter, adapt to your play style, maybe play a little bit slower, maybe play a little bit more aggressive. If they're playing really passive, you need to mix it up. Every single game is different and you cannot go into every single game with the exact same game plan. You need to mix it up if you want to improve your KD. Because one technique and one plan may work for one game on one map, but in another, you might have to try something completely different. So you need to keep an open mind when you play Modern Warfare, because it is a very hard game to play. Okay, and the eighth tip is you need to take a moment's break. And what I mean is, is when you get a kill, maybe you get a kill or two, you're in the action, you need to have those moments where you just step back, maybe regen your health, reload your weapon, check your head-up display, have a look at your compass, your mini-map, the score, how long is left of the map, all of this information and just take little time out. You can't just go into your games running and gunning, just going 100 miles an hour. You need to slow it up and you need to think about your decisions. Remember, unless you are running Stimshot, you cannot just regen your health up to 100% really quickly. It takes a while, especially if some of the players are using certain attachment perks like inflicting wounds where it's going to take you longer to regen your health or if they're using shrapnel, there are lots of things that might delay you in regening your health. So just take your time. Take the time to compose yourself in those gunfights, in those moments of madness, and this is gonna help you improve your KD. Because very often, I go into a game, I get into a really good spot where I'm near the enemy spawn, I can get one or two kills, but then I'm weak, I need to reload, and then I can just get killed by maybe the newbiest player. Because I've made myself a free kill, because I am not ready to defend myself, because I've been going so fast to get those first few kills, and then I have nothing left to give. I needed to take a moment, I needed to get out of the situation, in order to compose myself, get ready, and then go back in for round two. So this is something to think about, guys. Don't go into your gunfights steaming at 100%. In Modern Warfare, you need to be tactile and show a little bit of patience if you want to succeed consistently. Okay, guys, so those are my eight tips for improving your KD. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay updated on all my latest content. Also, leave a comment in the comment section on your tip for improving your KD, share your information and help everyone else out. But that's all from me guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video.